righty, welcome to Mount Prospect Ice Arena, home of Prep Hockey Club, as they host the Notre Dame College Prep Dons tonight on this wonderful Saturday night here in Mount Prospect, Illinois. I'm Luke Jordan, along here with Ryan Contreras Betts here. And we're here to give you our best call of the game. Both teams with a pretty mediocre start to the spring. Prep is actually one and two below 500. So they're looking to turn that around tonight after their 2-2 tie to Fenwick a couple nights ago. Uh, I mean, I know we haven't really seen these teams play, but like, what is your piece to the game for each team? Like, what are you, what are you noticing? Well, I mean, definitely we've seen prep play. Yeah, we've bit. seen that. Uh, I was just about to bring that up. We've seen prep play before. Uh, we saw Albrecht. I mean, of course, you got that overtime game winner against the Romans in the playoffs. Uh, we saw prep win the championship in a convincing two-game sweep. If you're Notre Dame, from what we do know of this prep squad, you've got to get ahead early. Uh, get as many shots in the front of the net. Uh, you got to try to get them on the rebound. You're not going to beat them overbearingly with speed. They're just a very tight defensive team. They play that nice 1-3-1 one, one trap defense. Um, just got to get good breakouts going nice and early and continue it throughout the game. Yeah, and uh, you, you notice looking at this warm-up, it is, team looks a little bit different. I mean, you got no more Michael Stein. You got a lot of the JV1 players looking to step up this year. So, some I noticed, Tyler Rentner, Landon Hensley, good luck tonight, boys. It'll it'll be different, so let's see how it uh, clicks for this team. Oh, yeah, and just a head of warning to all you guys, we're doing our best with Notre Dame here. Uh, we do not have their full roster. Spring season, rosters aren't as easily accessible as they are in the regular season. Uh, we have prep to the best of our ability. Obviously, it's not perfect, but we're doing our best with what we've got. Um, so we're just looking to have a great game here tonight. All righty, let's show you the ice. Let's get to it. It's both teams going up to pick up pucks, get the chant, and then we're off. As you know, high school hockey, 15 minute periods, 45 minutes in total. We're starting a little later than usual. We had some uh, rough weather in the area. Uh, glad everything's okay. Um, Everyone's safe, and we're we're excited to get some hockey going. I mean, it's been a few months since me and Luke have been behind the broadcast booth, so glad to get going here tonight. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I had no idea there's a tornado that touched down. I was driving here from another rink because I just played a game. We won, woohoo. <laughs> um, anyway, but uh, yeah, I was driving through these like. Well, I literally had to make lane changes because there's these just like two feet puddles in the on the roads and it was brutal felt like I was getting a car wash but with dirty dirty water so, so. I uh, just quick note I don't know if you guys saw that over on Notre Dame's end uh, their goalie just hit their own teammate in the head a brilliant shot <laughs> I did not see that a great start to the game let's be honest here <laughs> uh, and uh, about those lane changes was that on the highway Luke no 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 uh, it was just a uh, it was a uh, mainly golf road here Golf Road and Tukey Avenue. Yeah, I mean, you sure you certainly know a thing or two about some lane changes. Oh my God, this guy got passed by a semi truck coming back from a Hawks game. All right, bro. I, I'm, <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I'm being safe. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we're off. Luke Jordan along here with Ryan Contreras Betts. First game that we get to commentate of the spring season is now. Here comes a speedy Matt Melkernakis up the left side. He's going to be getting a lot more ice time this year as he was shadowed by the seniors in the fall. He's a junior, so I think he'll have quite the year next year. Johnson, a drop, and some good defense by Brett. Mel Kronakis throws it to the other side. Here they come on the breakout, Albrecht. That puck trickles through a couple, and it's now gonna go below the Notre Dame Tandy's net. That was Trey Slugger right there, number 24. Mel Kronakis up top. Over to Albrecht, the overtime hero in the Romans game. And it's a good blocker save by the, uh, by the uh, Don's goalie. Lambert with the turnover, puts it on net, save. He almost went for the Michigan there, but decided to pull back. You've seen a lot of Michigans in the last couple months. I mean, they've been everywhere. The last year even. Yeah, Michigans are definitely getting a lot of good hype there. I was at a Wolves game, almost saw a guy pull one off. Pretty hype there. 
Notre Dame rings it around the boards. The Dons lose possession. Prep shot from the point, it's just wide. It's now number 18. With Philip Deke inside, and it's turned over. That's Dylan Moran right there. Gets it back, Moran shot, save! By the Dons Tendi. Here's Weber. Tries to get up to the center and a good defensive play. And this will be an icing. Pretty dominant start by Prep so far. Already three shots on net and it's only been a minute and 45 seconds. Yeah, I mean, kind of what we were going back to the keys of the game. We said Notre Dame's got to get early and so far this is their first face off here in the offensive zone. They've barely gotten it past the neutral zone. So not the start you were looking for if you're Notre Dame. St. John wins the faceoff for Prep. And now McPartland from the Dons moves it down. It's loosened for the net. Puts it back into Domsky, scores! It's a quick start for the Dons as they're up 1-0 with a minute and 55 seconds into play. What a start for the Dons. Just as I was saying that they had not gotten a good start to this game, right there on the first shot of the game, they get a goal. That's number 21, Adomski. I had a nice little... Uh, he tucked it in forehand, uh, brilliant play there. I mean, you got to keep possession up in the front of the crease, and he did just that. One nothing. Really nothing Mick Delia could do there. That's just a wonderful putback. And the Don's up 1-0. Albrecht takes it back, still has possession. It's going to put it down the boards into the Don's zone. Got to get rid of it. Tyler Redner's on top of it. Comes up to Albrecht. And he loses it. They're going to try throwing off the boards, and it almost worked, but Adamski couldn't put a hand on it. And that'll be an icing. And this faceoff will go to the left of the Don's goalie. If I recall, I saw the last name correctly. I think it was Zadev. Zalev? I'm still trying, to get a, still trying to get a look. It's tough having no rosters, but we're trying to make the best out of it tonight. We'll still be in for a lovely game of hockey. Tyler Rentner is at the faceoff dot. And the reason this surprises me, because he was on JV1 last year, he was playing defense. So that is an interesting transition from playing defense to center. And he wins the faceoff there. So looks like it was the right move so far. Orso Chowski, who was also on prep black last year. He loses it. He gets it back. Puts a shot on net. It's a good pad save. Below the net, they control to the middle. Backhander, glove save! What a save by the Don's goalie. I really need to figure out his last name so I can compliment him some more. <laughs> yeah, that was a brilliant save there. He got the glove right up in time. A little backhand chip shot trying to get it elevated. Couldn't get it all the way up. I mean, not to take away from the save that it was, but definitely when you're up and close, you've got to get that elevated. Um, Prep came close there. It's a good scoring chance, and you need that after going down one early. Preps out shooting the Dons 4-2 so far. Beals moves it up to the hash mark, and that shot was no good. And the net comes off. Mel Kronakis clashes into the goalie. I'm not sure on what happened there. As the Dons goalie appears to be okay, we love to see that. Obviously got some rowdy fans today. Kind of always fun in the spring seeing who's getting hype, who's getting quiet. Yeah, I mean, spring you don't typically typically see as much, but they still got a little Pretty good turnout, going. yeah. Good turnout here today. Mel Kronakis wins the faceoff for Prep. Dumps it in. Number two from Notre Dame now. Wheeling it up the right side. A backhander, and here come the Dons. Over to Delfos. Delfos, that pass is intercepted. And Lambert's just going to dump it in. As missive, oh, comes up in front! Beals oh, wow. gets the bounce off the net as Z-Man couldn't control it. And this game is evened up at one pretty early. Now that's a mistake there by the goaltender. You never want to give an offensive or defensive zone turnover like that. I just kind of poor decision to try to play that puck. It was, there's a good uh, neutral zone uh, four check by Prep. Uh, there wasn't much defensive pushback from Notre Dame. That's just a rough goal to give up if you're Notre Dame after getting such a great start, taking the one nothing lead. Will Beals from Rolling Meadows High School gets his first of the night. We saw him make a couple good plays in the championship and against Romans. He was out there a lot. He has another chance. 
and he was ruled off sides just by an inch. And now he'll be going the other way and that'll be an icing. Wow, he must have been off by like what? Not One, two inches, I mean. I thought he I was I thought he gone. was clear, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, obviously you see Weber down low, he's not happy with that icing call. He thinks that he got the stick on the puck before it dropped down into the uh, offensive zone, but you just gotta move back, you gotta flush it and continue to play. Mel Kronakis wins another faceoff for prep as Albeck tries to throw it over to the other point. No success. But Mel Kronakis gains it back, and he makes a pass that'll be going the other way. Weber now around the boards. Schlechter loses it. And now Duffy. Here's Duffy. It's a scram near the hash marks. And now it'll come around the other way. Notre Dame on the breakout. Wonderful stick defense by Will Beals. And they're finally just going to get rid of it. And Sam Elbrecht will take the puck out for prep. They throw it onto the boards. On the breakout, here's Trey Slugga. He loses it, comes out in front. The stick goes flying into the post. All right. Uh, we've seen quite some interesting things so far this game. Well, that's some great composure by Delia right there to not be phased by a stick going flying past him, just focusing on the puck. Uh, yeah. As a goaltender, the biggest distraction is when bodies are flying in front of the net. That's why you always see teams trying to get deflections down low. Well, today they decided sticks are going to fly in front of the net too. Anyway, in front of the net, a good defensive play. They try to poke it back into the net. No good. Here comes Prep on the breakout. Dylan Moran tries to throw it to the middle. No good. As Shannon from Notre Dame pins him against the boards, and it's a good play as now Notre Dame has the puck coming out of the breakout. Here they come. Slowly controlling, tries to dump it in. A good shot block. Now prep on the breakout. Here's Jake Horcher. Jake Horcher still has possession. He's hit hard. Still was able to move it to the other side. Comes out to the middle. Nobody could get a hand on it. Or a stick on it, per se. And it'll be coming back the other way. Here's prep on the breakout. Jake Horcher. Leaves it for St. John and it's going to go back the other way, right to Delia's stick. And now Kasovic backhands it off the boards. Number two with a good play to keep it at the point, and it stays low. Lynn over, selector shot, and it goes out of play. Great shot block by number 52, which that is Luke Buzas. That's a pretty cool first name and I mean, last name. <laughs> but first name's cool because it's Luke. Anyway, sorry. That's definitely a great shot block away. there. Uh, St. John fell down uh, near the left boards, leading to a turnover in front of the net as Prep just misses on a two-on-one outbreak. That was a very good read by Scoura as he's able to get in front of it right before the pass is made to the point. Almost had it. And he makes a good chase on defense and that puck is dumped in and just out of play. Looks like that one got away from him a little bit there. Shot straight into the netting. Uh, if you're Notre Dame, I mean, you can't be too disappointed with the start. You're keeping close with the shots. You're having some decent uh, possession. You just got to find a way to try to break through. Here comes Prep, who's out shooting Notre Dame 5 to 3 so far. Scaura still possessing the puck. And good defense by the Dons. They'll move it the other way. Prep with recovery. That's Landon Hensley who moves it up to Giordano. Giordano passed down low to St. John to Hensley. Shot save! Good save there. Keeping the possession alive. They move it off the boards. Here they come. Two on one opportunity, but Giordano is able to get a stick in front of it. Kasovic eats up a hard hit. Here comes Notre Dame. Delfoss is just going to dump it in. And Sam Albrecht leaves it for Tyler Rentner, who gives a pass up to Landon Hensley. Up to Matt Orzachowski, and he is tripped up. And that will be a penalty on the Dons as this prep power play gets their first opportunity of the night. Well, that'll be a tripping call on the Dons. Uh, <laughs> it's always fun to hear the, uh, the parent section kind of try to argue what is a penalty or not. I mean, I could see the frustration. He was just going for the puck, but it definitely tripped up his skates. 
Uh, early power play for prep. Um, we know that they've got a very good power play. That's how they really decimated BGHW in the championship earlier this fall. Uh, earlier this winter, I should say. Well, I mean, with all due respect to the parents, it, if, I'm a, if I'm a hockey parent, I'm totally going to argue for every call our way, too. So. I mean, that's true. That's fair. That's Even fair. if I know it's the other way, you know? You never know what will change a ref's mind. Lambert up to Mel Kronakis here on the power play. Sam Albrecht over to Mel Kronakis, but the pass was off. Now Foley from the dots is able to get into the corner, and he's able to time up, but Mel Kronakis will repossess the puck for prep. 134 left on the power play. A nice move, tic-tac-toe! Matt Melikronakis strikes on the power play and Prep has cut their deficit to a lead. Down 1-0, made it 2-1. And looks like we'll be in for a high scoring night if, if it keeps up at this pace. Beautiful tic-tac-toe down low. Melikronakis uh, just managed to ring that one right through the five hole uh, just from the left ha right hash mark. Uh, Great composure, I mean, that's an early power play goal. You take a 2-1 lead. Uh, if you're prepped, that's exactly what you wanted to have to start this one out. Notre Dame wins the faceoff. Shannon loses it to Orzachowski, who's gonna dump it in. Conley hit Ooh. hard to the boards and he hit his head first. And that should be a two and a 10 as he's slow to get up. And Conley is gonna, just gonna go straight to the bench. And that was just a that ugly a, position to land in. I hope he's okay. Uh, I mean, it's it's great to see him already get into the bench. I mean, he looked like he skated off on his own willpower. Yep. Uh, it's just a dangerous collision. I don't think there was any intent. It just bad positioning, wrong place, wrong time. I mean, you've got to try to avoid those hits from the back any way possible. You don't want anyone to ever go head first into the boards. Yeah, obviously, uh, one of the more scarier places on the ice is the corners because I mean it's you're running into a board and all it takes is one shove and you can go flying like that and it's just scary I mean I mean you're on a you're on a two inch uh, two inch blade of steel yeah. your balance is not going to be perfect I mean that's why hockey is one of the more difficult sports you have to have that great balance and hand-eye coordination yeah uh, you get the common jokes ice is slippery it's kind of hard I mean that's why whenever you see kids going out for their first time on skates, they're always falling. I mean, yeah, that's a good point. Here's Notre Dame on the power play. They are yet to get into the offensive zone. Rentner on the PK with wonderful puck control, and he's just going to dump it down. And Orzachowski gets hit hard by Weber. Here comes Notre Dame with 113 left on the power play. He's gonna try juking through the middle. Still going and he's gonna backhand it wide right. They try to clear and it's no success. Number two puts it down low. And nice play by the prep defender. That was number 22, Giordano. Now number two from Notre Dame. Rips a shot and it's off the glove of Delia and out of play. Wonderful save by Mick Delia. I mean, aside from that one quick rush over by, by Notre Dame, preps really controlled this power play so far. Uh, keeping a lot of time in the offensive zone. I mean, that's that's a great pe uh, penalty kill strategy is to be on a shorthanded attack. Uh, Notre Dame is looking to get something going here with an offensive zone faceoff. Also, I apologize. I said Sam Albert later. I don't know why I thought of Sam. It's actually Nick. So apologies on that one. Nick Albrecht, who was the overtime hero against Romans in the IHSHL semifinal. That was one of my favorite games to call. I haven't called many, but it was an awesome game. And I like this game so far. It's very fast paced, high scoring. That's the type of hockey a lot of people like to see. So we hope you're enjoying so far. Del Foss on the power play, shot and a good blocker save by Delia. And Prep just trying to get rid of it. No success, Johnson in the middle. Del Foss, shot, list, rebound. Another save by Delia. Over number two. Gonna rip a shot, bad save Delia, and Delia is a brick wall in this possession. Oh my goodness. Nick Albrecht is just gonna get rid of it and the penalty kill for prep is over. And yeah, you can think the penalty kill, but Delia, oh my goodness. The head of that penalty kill, no doubt. 
I mean, Delia made three straight great pad saves with great composure. I mean, those are just juicy rebounds given in front of the crease, and he handled them with ease. Chernick dumped it in. Now Giordano on the prep breakout. Giordano with time, and he moves it up to Horcher, but it was no good. And now Adamski loses it. Nardame's going to get rid of it. It's going to go back to the prep defensive pair. Kasevich off the boards. Here come the Dons the other way. And he is barely offside. I was looking for the whistle too. It was, he was, it was just like that Will Beals breakaway where it's like, it could go either way. Well, he definitely looked offside there, but it was a little bit of a delayed whistle. Um, yeah. I mean, good on Notre Dame. You play until you hear a whistle. I mean, you play hard. I mean, we know it's the spring, but you want to get whatever going as you can. A little bit of a stumble near the wingers part of the faceoff. So they had to switch faceoff, guys. I've never seen that happen. Shannon's going to put it back in. It's now Ladewski. Hit hard. They start to move it around the other way. Luke Buzas with a nice hit earlier. Ladewski puts a shot, and it's just wide. Adamski eats up a hit, but he loses it to Skara. Here they come. And that pass to Hensley is no good, but Hensley's got that hustle. He gets in front of him, puts it glove side, and a save. What a glove save. Right as, and there there's a fight in the corner as Skara and 23 are getting at it, and the ref is able to break him up. What a glove. Hensley with wonderful hustle nonetheless. I mean, right, wait, hold on, I see it. Uh, Zid, I think it's Zidane? No. Hopefully an intermission will get a clearer I, look I, at these. I need to know this goalie's last name. I mean, he's playing out of his mind. I mean, he's made two really good glove saves on closely contested shots. Beals with a shot, and that's a pad save. There's another closer one that he saved. It's caught by Albrecht. Nice little one-handed Odell Beckham grab. And now the Don's on the breakout. This bounces right to Johnson. Johnson one-on-one. -on -one. And good defense by Nick Albrecht. And Albrecht with the hustle right there. Right after getting stopped on an offensive chance, he goes, hustles back to defense, makes a brilliant play. Lambert made a pass to Beals, who now gets it down to Melkronakis. Melkronakis to the middle, and Lambert could not get a stick on it. Now Will Beals going to throw it back down, and Foley and Melkronakis are going to race forward in the corner. Foley hit by Melkronakis, but Johnson's able to recover for Notre Dame. Comes back down. Here's Foley. Up the boards. Beals cross ice to Lambert. Catches it. Rips. It's in front of the net, and nobody can put it in as it comes back out to the defense. Beautiful pass, just a little bit too high for Lambert. Throws it back door. Melkronakis couldn't get it. And he's going to throw that back down. This comes up and it's going to come out to Nick Albrecht, who has a load of time to make a move with the puck. He makes a nice pass to Will Beals. And Will Beals loses the puck. Taken back by Lambert. Over to Albrecht. Albrecht with a rip shot and a good defensive play by number two with the stick. This puck comes back down to Lambert. Lambert's looking at the middle. Rentner to put back in a save. And Beals getting shoved out of the crease. Duffy goes, shoves uh, to the back of Beals right there. Beals stayed just on side on this time. Uh, got a good offensive zone chance. I mean, now Preps got 10 shots to Notre Dame's four. Kind of the opposite of everything that Notre Dame would like to see, aside from the fact they got the quick and early goal, keeping this game close. The shot through traffic is wide. And here comes Notre Dame. That puck is not out of play. I thought it was coming out my face for a second. I don't know why. Kasevich is hit hard in the corner. There is no penalty. Some could debate a charge. I didn't see the whole play, but it looks like he came at him awfully fast. And that was one of those hits that really made the entire bleachers rattle. And I could feel that underneath my feet. Yeah. Just the way that this rink is set up. Uh, that's that's definitely a crushing hit down low. Number two. Cross ice pass, and it's turned over. Orzacheski with a pass. And no offsides. To just use a shot and a save. The puck is still in play as it went up to the ceiling but didn't touch anything. And the rule is as long as it didn't touch anything, you can keep going. 
went right through the stanchions there, just barely missing a stoppage of play as now we have an icing by Notre Dame. Faceoff will be to the left of Zadina. I, I believe his name down low is Zadina for Notre Dame's goaltender. Uh, in case you were wondering, I know that something we both are very interested to find out from his brilliant play so far early in this one. He's made nine saves on 11 shots so far as 135 is left in the first period. This faceoff won by the Dons. Well, not exactly. <laughs> It'll come back low. Conley makes a backhand up the boards. It's now Laduski. Got to get rid of it. And he's just kind of chilling with the puck. I don't see that too often. He'll come up to the defense. Rip from the point. Comes in front of the net, and that's Z. Z no, get. Can we, can we not fight so we can see his last name, please? <laughs> please? I believe it is Zadina. Uh, yet again, this is something I was going to bring up earlier, but it looks like Prep is... I mean, we know Prep is a chippier team. Uh, when, I mean, anyone, when instigated, will become chippy, but... Absolutely. We've noticed a couple of scrums down low. A few of them have gone on notices. It looks like Adamski will be sent to the box. Wow. Uh, I'm going to assume it's going to be a roughing penalty. Um... Play came after the whistle. I mean, obviously it was a scrum down low between two players. It looked like it was between uh, Moran and uh, Adamski, but only one of them is going to the box. It's going to be a prep power play yet again with 109 left to go in the first. As it looks, Zeman. Zeman. It Zeman. looks like we have Notre Dame's roster. Uh, finally, we're going to use this for the next Let's go. couple of minutes. Uh, number two is, I believe, Peter Sizornik. Uh, he's been all over the ice so far tonight. Here's Prep as they begin their second power play. Graziani moves it back down. Controlling. That's number 18, Dylan Moran. Back to Moran. Moran fakes a clapper and puts it down low. Bruce is hit hard in the corner. And it is going to start getting chippy. Another big hit down at the left boards. I believe that is Horsher who laid a, he laid the body pretty hard on Shannon. Graziani moves it up. And it's almost turned over. It's going to come back into Beals' stick. It's turned over. Here comes Notre Dame in a good play by the prep defense. Here's Nick Albrecht with speed down the middle. Tries to put a ripper on net, and it was sort of ricocheted. And it's a good pad save by Zeman. Z man and Albrecht tripped up no call well Kronakis rips a shot and that'll do it for the first period here at Mount Prospect Ice Arena your score Prep Hockey Club 2 Notre Dame College Prep Dons 1 we'll be right back Second period here at Mount Prospect as the team switch sides. Prep still on the power play for 51 more seconds. And uh, Ryan, what are your takeaways from that first period? Uh, otherwise, I think Notre Dame actually did a good job of getting. Uh, they started off really well early on. 
Uh, of course, Prep leads in shots on goal by uh, by uh, a wide margin, but I mean they've had solid goaltending play. They've gotten a couple of good breakouts. Penalties seem to be what's killing them. As we've got another power play here for Prep. Uh, if you're Notre Dame, you just want to stay out of the box and you want to start getting more offensive zone time. I mean, try as much as you can to get out of your own defense zone. It's a nice clear there. Uh, just as I'm speaking of it, you need to get plays like that. You need to get shots on Delia. I mean, he hasn't been tested much, and he's already let up one. So obviously there are holes to fill. Uh, you just got to play smart hockey. It, it, it's just so, uh, like, it amazes me because, like, Goalies that don't face a lot of shots can still let up a lot of goals because they're not ready for it, you know? <gasps> Tip shot! Off the post! Rebound! Lambert! No good! Mel Kronakis now. And I had to switch topics very quickly. Almost had it there. Szornik just loses the puck there. Nice little dangle over to Albrecht. Albrecht to the middle and Beals almost had the put back as Lambert's going to drop it back down. Off the post there. Back down low, Beals looking. And good defense down low from Notre Dame. Beals still maintains possession, moves it up to Lambert, moves it up to Slugga. This is turned over, here comes Notre Dame. As we're at even strength. Two with a little spin pass. The finish is not there and Delia puts his pad in front of it. Zornik's been all over the ice, both on the defensive zone and now in the offensive zone, as we have another net front scrum. Uh, I mean, I think that was just a great play by Zornik. If I'm him, I maybe try to get a shot off. It looked like uh, pass was just slightly out of his reach, but a great offensive zone rush. I mean, what were we saying? You gotta get shots off, you gotta get something started in the offensive zone, and that's exactly the type of play that needs to happen more often if you're Notre Dame. Puck comes up front, and now Giordano tries to move it up to Horcher, but the pass is a little bit too high. McPartland, got to get rid of it. Now up to Sletcher. Sletcher on the breakout pass. 68 dumps it in. Now Lim loses it. Horcher in a scram. Knocks his opponent down. The puck is still loose, and the ref is just going to blow the whistle. And puck. Uh, puck was underneath them. Uh, good call by the refs. You can't see it. you got to stop play after a certain amount of time where it's just a dead puck. Obviously, no play is being made by the player to get up and allow the natural flow of the game to continue. We're going to have a neutral zone faceoff right in front of Notre Dame's bench. Here we go off the draw. Del Fosse wasted no time getting that puck, but good defense by Prep as they didn't even let him get a shot off. Foley now. Now Prep coming up the middle. Moran lost it and it comes back to Prep. And Horcher makes a nice pass. And that shot is off the blocker of Zaman. That was number 30, Olez. Sneer, who had the nice opportunity there. McPartland, throwing it off the boards. Kasevich, walking in and loses it as Del Fosse tries to put it over the blue line and no good. It comes back down low. Foley up the boards. And St. John intercepts it and puts it back down. Hensley, Hensley and Foley in the corner and Foley's able to get rid of it in time. Pass from Chernick is just a little bit too far in front of Del Fosse. Now Giordano with a nice little move as he'll break it out to St. John. St. John throws it up the boards and that might do too far and that'll be an icing. Hensley with wonderful hustle but that no touch icing really has just been in high school forever and even if you hustle so far to get that puck, you don't get it all the time. I mean, St. John made a good play there trying to get it down low uh, just out of the reach of I believe that's Hensley as you were saying. I mean you got to start something if you're prep. I've, a call. And that's a penalty. Hensley won the penalty and he got it as the stick got stuck in his skate, I believe. Tripping Let's, call. Here's the uh, replay. Taking the replay here. Yeah, just yeah. right in front of him. Clear call. Uh, Duffy will be heading to the box. Weber was not pleased with that call. We've seen him express his disdain towards the refs on numerous occasions so far this evening. But 
Another power play for Prep. I feel like you can't argue with that one. That was, I mean, he just put a stick right in front of him, and that's just the, even if he didn't mean it, obviously that's tripping, so. It's like a shell poke check. You're going to get the tripping call <laughs> Oh my goodness. Day. That's why I turn penalties off sometimes. Oh, Albrecht no. down low to the middle. No good. Back up top. Slugga down low. Albrecht back door. Albrecht shot wide. Comes back up to Slugga. Gives a nice little saucer over to Lambert. They're looking for that same thing where Albrecht's on the back door. Slugger with the slap shot. Rebound, Beals. Puts it to the middle. Scores! Lamberg off the one-timer from Will Beals. And Prep has made their lead from one goal to two goals as they lead 3-1. to one. I they mean, if, as we check this replay, it was just a great down-low passing play. Uh, Puck ricochets off the boards, throws it right to the front of the net. Exactly what you want to do if you're Prep. Uh, they got lots of open time and ice. They take a nice early two goal. They take a nice two goal lead here early on in the second period. It is uh, it is so difficult to defend that power play. It's just you don't know what they're gonna do. You got Lambert back door, who is taking, who's really taking replacement of Stein this year, because I mean Stein was always their back door, and you had all these other. I mean it's just it's so like smart. It's such a deep and talented roster. I mean. That they can run it, you know? Yeah, their entire roster's able to have that depth where the next man is ready to step up. I mean, you lose one guy, you step up, and you make the play. Adomski shot saved by Delia. Puck comes back near the net, and that net just comes off. I don't think they have pegs in, the way that thing came off. And Delia had no idea where that went after that. There's your replay. 10.41 here on the clock. The shots are so far 14-6. Prep, as you can tell, I mean, most of the opponents they played, whether it's fall or spring, they get shots off. It depends on how many goals they can execute. I mean, you're talking Romans, where they outshot Romans 40 something of 14, maybe, something. And the, the the game went to overtime. So, Michael Hughes, man. Oh, Michael Hughes, <laughs> what a player. <laughs> this puck comes out to Giordano, who's just gonna put it back in. Little breakout pass to Lim. Lim with a nice saucer. Here comes Adamski. Shot no good. And now Orzachowski. That puck comes back over the blue line. Giordano tries to make a pass and it's no good. Comes back down. And now Notre Dame will have a breakout. He's going to throw it up the boards and a good read by Matt Orzo. He just couldn't get a stick on it. Rentner, bodying number two, but couldn't finish it. And instead, Kasevich makes a nice stick defensive play. Kasevich tries to throw it up. No good. Two loses it. Svorzik. And it comes right in front of the prep bench. Uh, that's Svorzik for number two uh, for Notre Dame. Uh, uh, that's number two. He's been all over the ice. Yeah. And Svorzik is tripped up. They do not make a call, and he is... Slow to get up. Seems to be okay. Glad he's okay. Mel Kranakis makes a beautiful pass to Lambert. Another nearly beautiful pass. Instead, I... It's offsides. Offsides, okay. I thought they were about to call a penalty or something. Yeah, Beals was just offsides. You can see here, he... Oh, that wasn't just offsides. He was offsides by a good two, three feet. Good call. Uh, don't disagree with that by any means. Yeah. Face off near the left boards. 9.19 left on the clock here. Now here's Notre Dame on the breakout. Johnson. E oh my goodness, what just happened in front of the bench? Doesn't matter, Lambert got a breakaway. An incredible defense by Foley. Foley gets it up, and now Chertick is just gonna backhand it up. And Slugger will throw it over to Albrecht. Over to Melkonakis, who will just chip it in. Lamberg, oh my god, another bounce in front of the net! Again! The same player does it again! Unreal. Uh, as we check this replay, you're going to look at Beals. I, this puck just, it looked like it hit a loose, it looked like it hit loose snow down in the end boards, and it redirects right past the left, po uh, right past the left post of, uh, 
Uh, Zemin, I mean, you can't do anything there. I mean, get get Will Beals out of the game. He's a wizard. <laughs> How does that happen twice in a game from the same player? I mean, that's generally what's going to happen. I mean, I've noticed a lot of loose snow piling up along the end boards, and that might be the biggest bad bounce we've seen so far today. That's what happens when you have a short intermission with no uh, fresh sheet of ice. I mean, apparently the fresh sheet doesn't even matter. <laughs> it happened earlier with like, what, a minute and 55 seconds. I I'm just so lost for words right now. I'm not even like, I, I don't know how to express myself. Cause like, it's like, wow. I'm just, I'm, I'm amazed that that happened. Now Will Beals again. Will he do a weird bounce hat trick? No, he throws it to the middle and Shannon tries to get rid of it. Comes back in front. Lambert, oh, what a save by Z-Man. Rebound and it goes behind the net. Comes back up for Kasevich. Kasevich has an open shot to the net. Couple of cross tricks down low by Melikronakis on Conley. Um, we have, uh, I believe that's number 13. Um, we talked about him a lot today. That's what a Weber. save by Z-Man. Weber is heated. He was looking to go swing at someone's head. It looks like he will be sent to the box. He is chirping back and forth with Lamberg down low. They will get they will get both penalties, and it looks like we'll be four on four here. Yeah, I mean, I you guys saw the replay. That save by Zeman was absolutely incredible. I mean, yeah, I mean, oh my god! Obviously, we got distracted by the penalties there, but not to take away from Zeman. He made a great save yet again on another dangerous scoring chance. I'm gonna call him the. Zave man, stop! Sorry. That that sorry. is one of the this worst. Is... <sighs> this man who was passed by a semi truck on the highway, Why coming have, back that has a bad that has puns. nothing to do with hockey. Why do you have to bring that up? I mean, it's coming back from a hockey game. I think it has everything to do with hockey. Whatever. Yeah, that the Hawks lost to the Coyotes in overtime in on an game. own goal to Jonathan Taves. Or no, wait. Yeah, yeah, that was the Coyotes game. That was yes, the sir. Game. So, you also went to the Stars game a couple days later. Uh, looks like we'll not be four on four. We will be five on five. Both All penalties right. just getting offsetting minors. And this comes right back to Zane, man. I know, freeze that one. <laughs> uh, quick and easy here. We have 8-10 to go here in the second period. Shots are 16-7 to seven in favor of Prep. 4-1 uh, lead for Prep. I mean, Notre Dame has not gotten anything going in this second period. They've been completely outplayed from the first puck drop. The Dons ringing up the boards. Here they come. One-on-one -on -one opportunity with Giordano. And he loses it, makes a stop and go. Leduski gets a shot and it'll be a penalty on Giordano. As, as he's clutching his knee, that's number 23 down low. Uh, Kaboon. He is in some serious pain as we check that replay. It just was a weird collision down near the hash marks. Um, he's clutching, it looks like his groin area possibly, that is not a great sight to see. Uh, I don't know. It could be something his knee, in his knee. It could be his knee. I mean, I think it might be his knee. There's going to be a penalty. That'll be on number 22. That is uh, Vincenzo Giordano. Um, there, obviously, he's going to be heading off really early. Oh. He's going to need to be helped off the ice here. Uh, we hope he's okay. That is a rough landing to take. We hope he's all right. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at the replay here once again. Trying to see. Oh, it was a knee-on-knee -knee collision. That, uh, that That's what I was fearful of. Um, it looked very much yeah, just a bad play. His stop and go had just led to the knees colliding. Um, he's being helped off. Uh, as we're getting a couple of cues here. I, uh, man, I hope he's okay. Uh, he's getting two minutes there. I, I don't know how they could be, I don't know what they can call if it's a two minute, my, like, or he will be sent off the ice, a knee on knee wow. collision. Ejected. Uh, the prep, the prep squad is surprised. They're going to have to take a look at this and see later on. That's a knee on knee collision. That's a smart I mean, it did not look intentional. It was not a. Sl it was not an intentional yeah. slew foot. But the, anytime you see a knee on knee collision, you've got to have immediate I, disciplinary action. That's I, how it's always been. Obviously, 
I mean, obviously, I hope Kaboon is okay. I, he, I don't know if that is a five-minute penalty, though. Yeah, because, I, I mean, think about it. He didn't even mean to do that, and now he's out for the next game, too. That's how uh, injection works Yeah, here, it's in high school. It, it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, they're, they are giving it a five. Uh, looked like they put up a two at first. They switched it to a five. And this is a huge opportunity for the Dons to get a <laughs> Massive on opportunity for Notre Dame. You want to get one back for your fallen teammate and try to get yourselves back in this game with 7.45 here to go. You have to capitalize here as a breakout to Chernick. Chernick moves it up. Now here come the Dons. The, they lose it. Zorg Johnson's still it. in front of it. And another clear attempt is blocked. And Johnson's able to put it on the backhand and take it the other way. Johnson with a drop pass and it's turned over as Moran got on top of that one. Moran now with time up the left side. Tries to make a deke and it's no good. It comes back out. And this one's just gonna be dumped in. Albrecht puts it wide. Notre no. Dame still looking for a breakout here in this power play. I mean already almost a minute has gone by. They've barely seen any offensive zone attack. Yeah, and you, you, you got to get shots on Delia right now. He really, he's only faced seven the entire game, and you're up a man. You have to get opportunities. And this is not the start that you want. I mean, but press penalty kill also. I mean, just look at the, look at the speed and the, like, effort and the, I mean, it's just. I mean, Notre that, Dame is skating sluggishly. That was a bad change by Prep. I mean. There's a lot of time as it's turned over again. Here comes Prep going back in the other way. Skour trying to make a ju uh, juke, and it's no good. Comes up top. Kesevich tries to put it down low, and he's hit hard by Johnson. And it goes back around the boards once again. Del Foss got to get rid of it. Brings it around the boards. Oh, oh a big hit. That's, and it is a, that's got to be a charge. No call made. He was hit over the head. I, And now Prep is getting... See, this is one thing that I've noticed about this prep squad. They very easily get angered when a call does not go their way, despite them getting away with the charge. He took at least five strides into that check, and I, I don't know what to say here. That's the This puck goes enough. down low. Who's this? Trying to get rid of it. Puts it away. Now Foley being chased by Retner, who makes a pass over to Adamski, and now Sletcher coming in with an opportunity. Hit hard by Rettner, what and I can tell you that one was clean and a beautiful hit by Tyler Rettner. As now he's trying to get chippy with Rettner on a clean hit. There's your replay. That was just a beautiful hip check right there. Getting frustrated, tensions are boiling over. I don't think these two teams have played each other very often. Obviously it's the spring season. Uh, this game's a lot chippier than I was expecting for a spring game between two teams that aren't known as rivals. Honestly, something I've realized is that most spring games are almost more chippy than fall. I mean, I, I haven't seen many spring games, but I mean, even the ones that I played in, I mean, I had a teammate get thrown out today. I mean, it got dirty. Obviously, we can't hit like these guys can, but it's still to the point where it's almost like your eyes are like off the puck and you're just trying to knock someone out. And I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I do not like that part of hockey. The that, to put the puck in the net, not to put somebody on a stretcher. That's yeah, the way I, I look at it. I mean, that's a great point. I mean, obviously, if you look at Notre Dame, they're looking tired here, puck thrown back and low. I mean, the entire prep squad is standing on the bench uh, with the exception of, uh, I believe that's, I can't tell who that is, their number's blocked. But... I mean, Prep's getting heat. They're, they've got a three-goal lead late. They've dominated the play, and they're incensed over a minuscule potential trip. And here they go again. I mean, Foley with a backhand to the middle. This will just be dumped in, and it's, this penalty kill is... I mean, at this rate, you could play the rest of the game on the penalty kill. The way that they're killing it is incredible. I mean, I remember saying it as a quote. It's almost as if the Prep penalty kill is the same as their power play. I said that against BJHW. I've said that again here tonight. As the stick gets caught in between the blades, I, no penalty despite a trip. No disrespect to anybody or the refs, but I mean, some of these got to start being called. I, I mean, at some point it comes player safety. No call down low. That should be a penalty on Notre Dame. Uh, 
Eh, I don't know about that one. It looked a little bit like he, I mean, there's a lot of calls that can go either way. They could go either way, true. That one's just a nice clean hit down low. Duffy has some time down low. He throws it to the middle, gets it back. And we thought that was in for a second. No good. Barely kept in there. And now, hands up. I don't see what happened. Well, we've got good news. It looks like um, number 23 is coming back in. He is okay. I mean, he's skating in. That is awesome to see. Uh, Duffy okay. will be sent to the box. And, well, there goes the power play opportunity for Notre Dame. A five-minute power play that resulted in zero shots on goal, Luke. That, yeah, is, that is rough. That is an atrocious stat to have on your ledger. And now all of a sudden, we're going to have some four-on-four -four action here for the next 41 seconds. I just... Prep special teams is... They, they might have lost some guys, but that special teams did not change. Oh, my goodness. Two-minute power play here. It's going to be four-on-four four for 41 seconds before prep takes over on the power play. I am unbelievably impressed by the prep penalty kill. Props to you guys, man. Mel Kronakis off the faceoff trying to take a shot. And it was saved by Zeman. Here comes Notre Dame. Tries to put it through two. And he still maintains the puck. As now he was it. Here comes Mel Kronakis up the right side. Nice little juke. Gets one reaching. Tries to do a nice between the legs. Tries to put it between the defender's legs there. Good defense by Adamski who from watching this game has been a pretty good two-way player. He's got a goal, and he's also got some good defensive plays on the other side of the ice, so. And this one's a whiff pass. Here comes Notre Dame. Shot saved by Delia. Immediately he turns to the ref to call for a penalty. I don't disagree that there's a hook there, but you've got to get straight back into the play. You cannot disagree. Yeah, you got to keep going. As two on one, he loses the puck. Beals loses it. Lambert gives it to Beals. Beals tries to put it through Adomski and that pass to the middle. Melkronakis was not ready for that one. Albrecht down low to Melkronakis. Melkronakis controlling down low. Over, one timer to Lamberg. What a play. And what a finish by Lamberg. And just these cross ice plays by Prep are unstoppable. You look on the replay here. Look at that. That's through, just a, that's through a two great, defenders, basically. That's a great pass from down near the uh, low right end boards straight into the uh, left hash mark. There's not much you can do if you're Notre Dame. It, the, the passing is on the tape. The shot is just a rifle. I mean, great positioning all around, and it's 5-1 in favor of Prep with 2.23 here to go in the second period. This faceoff is won by the Dons. They move back up, wide open breakaway for Beals. One on one with Z-Man, shoots it, safe, rebound, scores! And wow, a quick turn of events, another goal. Beals yet again, they celebrate down low. We take a look at this replay, uh, just a great outlet pass. He takes one shot, big save by the pad, but great presence of mind by Beals to stick with this rebound and to, get a, to take that opportunity. He had all the time in the world. Um, that, that is just great hockey IQ by Beals to remember your first shot don't just give up on it just go back for that rebound especially on a breakaway when no one's within 20 feet of you I mean 6-1 now I mean that goal is coming only 20 seconds later I mean guys looks like uh, we've got another penalty here against uh, the Dons uh, Unsportsmanlike, maybe we haven't seen a signal. Um, I think I think he might just be serving. Uh, I, I mean, I believe it's going to be unsportsmanlike. Another power play for prep. Wow. I mean, oh, this game's getting. Oh, and he falls down. Here they come, odd man rush, backhander, saved by Z-Man, rebound in. That is a no goal. As that is a high stick by a good mile. As we check this uh, quick replay here, let's see how. Obvious it was there's a high stick. Yeah, that is yeah. that's at his head. You gotta keep it below your shoulders. Definitely above the crossbars. Good no goal call. Very good call. Uh, but great hand eye coordination. I mean, we gotta give him credit. If you're able to knock it down into the net like that, I mean I mean as a baseball player, I mean, hand eye is so important and I mean that's just a great play. 
Face off. Out to Grazani. Grazani rips it and save. No scram in front of the net this time. Glad to see it's starting to become a little bit more mellow. I mean, at some point it's got to become more mellow. It's a five goal game. Uh, we've already seen one injury. I mean, it's spring. And a shot. No good. Comes back out. Rebound. Nobody can put a stick on it. And they will go near the hash marks. They're going to move it up to Graziani. Graziani back down low. Oh, and he's cross-checked. Uh, I bet if he fell there, he could have got the penalty, but just eats up the cross-check and stays with the puck. Credits to him. Just Nick Partland intercepted by the hand of Graziani. And it's going to be a hand pass as uh, McPartland takes a whack at uh, Moran down low. Um, he's trying to plead his case, and he's being tossed into the box. I mean, wow, that's I mean, obviously a penalty. You cannot just take a random hack at someone after the whistle. I mean, as we take a look, he just slashes him straight in the back. I mean, there's no doubt that it's a penalty. I, I get you're frustrated, but you have to be slamming the penalty box. You got to stay focused. You have to keep your composure. We get it's a frustrating five-goal blowout. We get you only have eight shots on goal, but that's, that's just not yeah. smart. It affects the rest of your team. It affects you as a player. It, it, you got to take your frustrations out on the scoreboard. I mean, that's what I always tell my team. It's even even I can't like keep my head in the game that often, but I try my best to let my teammates know that whatever you do is going to hurt us, you know? Like, even if you get the slightest penalty, it doesn't matter. I mean, we're still down a man now. Sluggo, Ripper, and it's wide right. And Albrecht saves it, keeps it in the zone, and moves it back down. The hustle oh, on nice that play. First oh. check by Albrecht, too, as it comes back out. Sluggo. Sluggo with a little spin. Hits, hits Albrecht on the run, and he gets... Messed up right in front of that net. Slugga over to St. John. St. John controlling over to Slugga. Walks in and back door. Nobody was there. Albrecht able to recover it. Tries to backhand it. Good defense. Comes back out. Trugga, Slugga tried to get a slap shot and it was no good. Oh my goodness, what a pass! Number two on the breakaway scores! One of the nicest passes I've seen. In person, oh my goodness. That's gonna be Sazorzak, he's been all over the ice tonight. That's a five on three shorthanded goal. That's gotta feel good for Notre Dame. He's been hustling both ends of the ice. He's been great two way. Uh, to finally be rewarded for that if you're prepped, that's your first shot on goal in almost an entire period. They have not had a shot on goal until then, this entire second period. You get one back, now you're down four. You head into the third period. You get a short break, you got to reset. I mean, you're still Dan down a man here. 55 seconds left on the uh, penalty, but you get one back and that's a start. Yeah, I mean, just, I, I, I don't know if that was an intended pass, but if that was, oh my goodness, what a pass, man. I, if, if, you, if you're watching this replay at home, just wonderful assist and a wonderful finish by you two players. I don't even know you guys, but like, Good play, you know? Yeah, I mean, you credit? gotta give credit where credit's due. I was about to say the same exact thing. Like, I'm not, I literally was about to have the same exact sentence come out of my mouth, but I, I let you talk first. So, how kind of me. Your shots are 20 to 8 prep. We're done with two periods where there's eight total goals in your score. Prep Hockey Club 6, Notre Dame Dons 2, and we'll be right back.
Alrighty, welcome back as we start this third period. 15 more minutes of hockey to play. We hope you're sticking around. Here's Nick Albrecht to begin the prep power play that's still lasting for 27 seconds. Albrecht surveys the zone and he's just gonna move it down to Beals. Beals back up to Albrecht. Albrecht down low. Sluggo back up top to Albrecht. Albrecht shot, save rebound. Z-Man is able to make the save. He's been good with the glove tonight, and there's another glove save. Lamberg fakes another Michigan. I think I've seen that three times tonight. It, it always makes me think he's going to do a Michigan, and that slap shot is a good blocker save by Z-Man, and the, we're back at even strength. Albrecht, Ripper, and a save by Z-Man, and now with this faceoff, it'll be five on five with everybody in the zone. I mean, as we were saying, it is six to two in favor of prep. Uh, Notre Dame finally got a goal back on the board very late, I believe, with 14.7 seconds to go in the second period. Uh, if you're Notre Dame, you got to just you fight back. I mean, you're down four, obviously, but you can't get discouraged. You can't let your emotions boil over. This slap shot is off the post. It almost went in from the point. Albrecht trusts it down low to Beals. Beals is going to try to move to Melkronakis. Melkronakis still hustles and gets it. Nice hustle play there. And he's going to drop it to Beals. Looking for the give and go, but wonderful defense by Johnson on the other side. Malkranakis tries to deke out Foley, and he's doubled, and Johnson's able to get it. He's going to move it up to Chernick, but it's intercepted. Delfos now trying to get it to Chernick. Here they come, and they're just going to dump it in as they're entering in three on three into the zone. Really couldn't have done much there. And now Luke Buzis. Here begins the breakout, over to Beals. Beals coming up the right side. Almost snipes it up top, and there's a little spot open. It could have gone, but it was over the net. A nice pass to Johnson, and a better defense by Prep, as that's Kasevich with a nice play. Here's Lambert, up the right side. Looks for the pass, shot saved by Z-Man. Wonderful glove. What oh my. a great save as we take a quick look at the replay. Get all the time in the world to get the three prep players coming off of a change. A great glove save, soaking up, preventing any rebounds. That is going to be the 22nd shot on goal for prep here. Uh, 13 minutes to go here in this one. 30 shots in total, and only eight of them have been Notre Dame. The offense has been pretty rough as they're down 6-2. Doesn't help that the discipline is just really not there. I mean, th there's a lack of movement of the skates. They're kind of, they're gliding. They're not, I mean, Prep's just out skating them. They've got better conditioning. I mean, Weber down low, I mean, I, I was thinking earlier to myself that he's gonna be a player in this one, but he's let his emotions get the better of him. As he goes for a late hit. Horcher two on one, and that shot is tipped of the stick of Shannon and right into the glove of Z-Man as he just freezes the puck there. I mean, as I was talking about Weber, right, as they went on into that two on one, Weber, I don't know what he was doing. He goes and he almost does a slew foot, like a slew foot hip check. I mean, I believe that is uh, uh, number 30 down low for prep. I mean, he looks shaken up taking the face off here, but there comes a point where player safety has to come into the minds of importance for you. You're down four, I get it, but... I mean, these are guys that are around the same age as you. I mean, you shouldn't want to injure someone just because you've had a bad game. Well said. Moran with a juke between the legs! Back door! Oh, and Slugga wow. couldn't finish the play! Oh my goodness! He go Moran, shot! Oh, oh and it catches... Somebody in the helmet. I could not catch them. I hope he's okay. Call it. 
Oh, that catches him up high in the neck area under the chin. I think that's St. John. Yeah, that is St. John down low, number, 15, uh, number five. Might have been the neck. It, it, yeah, it looked to me right the neck under the chin. Um, it, it obviously, quickly, you're rushing out to check if he's all right. Uh, I played with Daniel for baseball this year. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping he's okay. They bring the water out. Um, we, we've seen two very concerning scenes here tonight. I, it's just as we were talking about player safety. I mean, it, it, it's just one of the dangers, one of the risks that you take. Um, we're going to go take a quick look as we're hoping he's getting tended to. We're taking a look at a couple of the highlights so far here tonight. Um, uh, just a lot of back and forth play, prep, a couple of good shots, blocker saves, pad saves, scrums in front of the net. Uh, we're looking at some, as net comes <laughs> this line, that was a fun one um, earlier today in the first period. This one, the weird bounce you were talking about number is one. Beals. Uh, wizard move number one, wizard move number, oh, he's as, right. uh, We're glad Good to, to see, see St. John's getting up. Uh, we see another almost great uh, play by Beals. It was off sides. Uh, more down low. This time the uh, <laughs> stick going into the net. Uh, this one, another bouncing puck. Blockered away. Puck down low for Prep. St. John, it, he's holding nice his... Uh, another save as we're looking here. Uh, we're glad to see St. John is okay. He is skating to the bench. Uh, it does look like it got his neck area, collarbone area. Right under the, uh, right under the helmet. That's horrifying. Yeah, those are. I mean, I know I've had my fair share of getting hit up there. It's, they're not fun. I mean, it's great to see him skate off on his own will. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's one of the risks of this game. I mean, we've seen. Uh, there's somebody from Notre Dame going into the box, and they're going to call cross-check. Uh, it probably happened at some point after the whistle. Zeman is asking what's going on. He disagrees. It's going to be a two-minute power play for prep. Um, we didn't see what went on there. I mean, Luke, you said you saw the signal for a cross-check. Yeah, all, um, I, all, I, all I looked at was the box, and I saw 17 go in, and I saw the cross-check signal. I, I don't know what happened. Yeah, it, it was probably a cross-check, but... We'll see how this prep power play pans out. Albrecht. Shot, and it goes through traffic. Almost tipped in through that traffic. And it comes back up to Albrecht, who's had a substantial game so far. Melkrinakis down to Beals. This line has been cooking all day. Slugger up top. Albrecht to Lambert, and a good defensive poke check by the Dons. This puck comes back up to Slugger. Slugger. Over to Albrecht. 11.05 left. Slugger. Nice little fake. Rips a shot and it could not get through the large traffic. There was in front of Z-Man. Lambert just puts at the net and he scores! A little floater, wow. I think he was just trying to get a rebound, but I don't think Z-Man saw completely and the last thing he saw was it just going over his pad here. Uh, as we check this replay here, yeah, Lambert just cuts the middle of the ice. I don't think he ever saw that. I mean, there wasn't even that much of a screen in front, just a, a light floater that eludes Zeman. And uh, it's another power play goal, another goal for Lamberg. I believe that is his second of the game. Uh, now it's 7-2 prep with 10.53 here to go in the third. Um, I mean, we still have yet to see uh, another shot on goal from Notre Dame, almost five minutes in, I mean. Things are just not panning out for this Notre Dame squad. Well, they still got 10 minutes and 52 seconds to prove what they can. You can't exactly see, say the game's over, but the icing's starting to come on the cake, per se, as they need to start getting something going to smidge back into this game. This puck is a cross-ice pass to the point. Foley trying to get it down low, and Scour plays wonderful defense. Here's Moran and Hensley on a two-on-one. Moran with another juke. Oh, he almost finished it! Oh, my goodness. He had another chance to do it. Moran's had a couple of those really nice plays down low, and he just can't finish one here. Graziani, well, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to word that negatively because 
I, I wouldn't even be able to start what he's doing. Oh. So <laughs> incredible move by Moran, just so close. The shot, and Z-Man's able to make the save. And I believe that's not a penalty, and if that's not a penalty, I don't know the actual rule about that, but fully cross-checked uh, Moran in front of the net, and that gave Z-Man the ability to see on that slap shot, so. I mean, that should be an interference call. I believe that would what the ruling would be. Uh, no call, I mean, we've seen a couple of those just missed or just not called for whatever reason. Foley's been a little chippy here and there, but. Alrighty now, Moran to the middle. Oh, Hen or sorry, Scoura, 84, not 94. They're both out there at the same time, so it's like a little line away from telling 84 from 94. It's not the easiest thing. And now here comes Notre Dame, Johnson. Another great defensive stand by Kasevich and Prep Hockey Club in general. Oh my goodness. Now Kasevich going to take it under his own net. He's going to wheel it. Instead of reversing it, he's going to throw it up the boards. That's still in play. Orzochowski bats it down. Three on one in the pass to Hensley is no good. Puts it back to Orzochowski. Rebound. Save by Zeman. Zeman just stopped another shot. He's the one that cleared that puck. This Notre Dame defense has got to pick it up. We're looking down low, gliding with the stick at your side is... Um, uh, Miskovic, or I believe he's knees are not bent. You've got to be moving. It's a oh, a nice. I mean, he makes a nice shot block there. Another save by Zeman. And Prep is still skating. Where Moran now loses the puck, and he's just gonna take it out. Still getting pressured by Johnson. Now here it comes a juke inside. He's got another chance to score, and it's off the back of the net this time. Almost was able to snipe the little hole on the right side. Now this puck comes down low. And Duffy couldn't break it out. Here's the captain in the corner, and he loses it. Weber lays a hit, but he stays on his feet. And Misovich is just going to ice this one. Well, as the clock begins to roll here with 7.30 to go in the third period, shots are 27 to 8 in favor of Prep. Uh, it's, it's been a wild one. Um, this game has just kind of gotten out of hand quickly. Uh, Notre Dame just looks exhausted. I mean, and discouragement has to play a factor. Down five. Um, haven't been able to get much of any offense going whatsoever, but... Try to play to the final whistle. I mean, that's that's the best advice I could give to anyone. Couldn't agree more. Is now Slugger. Takes it up the left side on this breakout. Goes to the backhand, and he's going to take Mario Kart lap number two around his own defensive zone. And this pass to the captain's no good. Comes up to Rentner. Rentner leaves it up for Albrecht. Albrecht over to Orsachowski. Tries to give a nice little backhand to Rentner, who now goes to Slugger. This puck movement was almost perfect, but Adamski with a nice read. Adamski up the backhand. Wonderful defense by Orzachowski. And the ref's hand is up. I don't know what the call is. I believe it'll be on Notre Dame. I'm correct. See, I, I disagree with the call being on Notre Dame. It should not be goaltender interference when you are shoved into the goalie. That's how it works at higher levels of hockey. I, I just... I do not agree with this call. I believe, if anything, a penalty should be on prep. I believe there's a trip down low. I mean, if they're not going to call it the trip, I can understand it. It's a, it's, it's not a close game. Let's be realistic, but I don't know. It's not something I, I agree with, but I just think if this is a paid occupation, you gotta like, you gotta call until the buzz. You know, you yeah. have to be. You can't. You can't just kind of throw in the towel just because. Yeah. Prep wins this face off, and now their power play line number two is out there. Moran takes a slap shot. It's a good save by Zeman. We haven't really seen the power play two line yet, so it'll be inter interesting to see some action from these guys as 
Power Play 1 has been stealing the show all night as it is, I mean, Beals, Lamberg, Melacronakis, uh, others. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. They're, they're, the way they're moving the puck, the way looking at the back door, it's like their head is on a swivel 24-7. It's incredible. I mean, it's really, this is the level of hockey that I love to see. Stick is shattered out around the ice. Oh, Moran, nice. another juke. He finishes it this time. He does it. It took him long enough. He has had so many great chances, but he finally is able to knock one home. As we take a quick look at this replay, he just goes in, takes a nice toe drag, oh, works wow. around the broken stick, snipes it past the glove side. Um, Zeman is trying to argue his case that there's broken equipment, that there's a penalty down low. Hey, it's it's a frustrating game for this Notre Dame squad. It's now eight to two. They are down six with 4:45 here to go. And at this point, just try to get something going or stop the bleeding. Chernick tries to throw it to the middle, and he's hit by Scarra, who's been throwing the body around a lot tonight. Now it's a race in the corner. Here's Chernick, throws it off the boards. Here he comes. And he's just gonna dump it in as Mel Kronakis applied pressure. Buzius loses it. Notre Dame couldn't finish the play. Now Prep trying to go the other way and it'll go the other way once again. Now Chernick on Notre Dame and it looks like Notre Dame keeps trying, trying to chip the puck down in low, trying to fling it in the air instead of getting a nice firm uh, shot down low. As here comes Prep now in a mini three on Malcolm one. Malcolm back door, no good. As Boos is now taking it down low, the big defenseman looks for the middle. It's right out for Malcolm Oh my goodness! Wow. Look at that. As uh, we see number 52 is trying to, uh, I mean, this is after Let's get a goal. The, uh, we need to see that replay. So first, this is just a great goal by Melikonakis, waiting for the 5 What in up, the Patrick? Bringing it home, but uh, if we can see that replay one more time down low, as we looked at it, it's a little chippy. Uh, we could see right as Melikonakis comes in, 52 has a slash to the back of the Notre Dame player. They go and they have a scrum. It's almost like the goal is not being focused on. It, it's, it's all emotion. And with just over three minutes to go, I mean, it's now, it's, I, I don't know what to say there, Luke. It's just, uh, all I got to say there is, Matt Melkronakis just displayed the patience of Patrick Kane so well. I mean, he waited for the five hole to open. He just put it. I mean, that takes so much IQ. I, like, I'm, I'm a good friend of Matt, and I know he's not the smartest sometimes, but <laughs> right there, right there, his brain was. Johnson's going to be sent off. It looks like it's going to be unsportsmanlike yet again. Uh, this is about the third unsportsmanlike conduct penalty we've seen from Notre Dame so far. Um, they're going to put him in the box for two minutes with 246. No, uh, it looks like Johnson's trotting off the ice. Well, they're sending him off the ice. Wow. I mean, another penalty. Not, no one on the Notre Dame squad is happy. Notre Dame's trying to argue the clock should be running. It's almost like they want to just get out of here. I mean, 9-2, to two, I don't blame them, but play to the final whistle we were talking about it earlier I mean <laughs> uh, a young fan in the front row just yelled out that uh, Tyler Rettner's skate is untied a very helpful fan indeed got him looking well, I, I don't think his Whoa, skates, I, don't, I don't think his skates are actually untied. They're probably not now the clock begins to run Kasevich off the boards. And Notre Dame dumps it in. 2.16 on the clock. Graziani moves it up the boards. Hensley with good hustle. And now Rentner will get the puck and he's dropped it back to Graziani. It'll be going the other, nope. Uh, but it's offside so it will be going the other way. Duffy with a nice little backhand pass. And it's grabbed. By Kasevich, oh, makes move. one fall. The toe drag, another oh. one, and he just Shots. loses it off the skates. 
Oh my goodness, he was putting on an absolute talent show right there. Now Notre Dame trying to take it inside into the house. He moves it up to Weber and it's a pass that is wide. There goes a bulldozing Retner down the ice. Who sprays the goalie wide open. Beals has a net. He's just going to wait. Retner back door. No good. I thought it was in for a second. Oh my. Oh, dangerous hit down low by Notre Shot Dame. Shot scores. Deflection out in front. That's going to be Retner, I believe. Retner gets the goal as he slams Tyler the Retner. Uh, there's a, da oh, a dirty. If we can get that replay one more time, uh, take focus on the upper right corner of your screen. You're going to see the Notre Dame player coming low and give oh. him a hip check to the head. That is a, uh, they're just going to let this clock run out, it, it looks like here with 45 seconds to go. Um, Notre Dame's trying to pump up his brother. I don't know what's going on. The what? It, this, is, <laughs> this is unusual. We wish you guys could have all the camera angles that our eyes can see because this has just been an interesting game as that we've gotten later on. It's 10 to two. To, to think that Notre Dame scored first, if I told, I mean, if I told you a uh, prep one 10 to two and Notre Dame scored first, you'd probably laugh at me, but um, that's just how it went. Prep started off slow, and then they just one goal, two goal, three goal, four goal, and it just that offense could not stop. And as the time runs out, your final score, Prep 10, the Dons 2. We thank you for tuning into this one. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you on the next one. Actually, yeah, put it on the camera. Put it on the camera. I, I want to see myself. Yeah, see? This has been Luke Jordan, along here with Ryan Contreras Betts. We thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you on our next one, and you'll be able to find that on rdlav.com. We have a schedule of the games that we'll be doing, and eventually in the fall we'll be doing hockey for DePaul, the IHSHL. So you'll see us a lot more, and uh, hopefully you can see our beautiful faces more too. So we'll catch you later. Thank you for tuning in.